How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of, uh, yeah, Southern Pines jams in the form of their Duck Hook Cream Ale. Yeah, this comes courtesy of my boy Oak Ridge. Um, he dropped me off a Southern Pines last time he did a beer uh, drop, and I dug it quite a bit. He dropped off a couple more this time. Got some Cream Ale up in this piece, so I'm pretty excited. Label-wise, I'm not going to say I like it. <laughs> but there's something about it just being a cream ale and having this kind of goofy kind of cartoonish kind of artwork on it just kind of makes sense for the beer so i'm not gonna say i hate it either um yeah i mean what does that look like ladies and gentlemen that looks like a cream ale um yeah rich clear in color soft carbonation it looks like your classic kind of cole's pilsner kind of thing going on this is almost extra bit of cleanliness to it a little bit of Sweet magnifying glass kind of clearness to it. Let's see if we can get a nose on it. Oh man, that is all the parts of a cream ale. Now, for a cream ale for me, more specifically, it shares a lot of attributes of a lot of beers I like. It has that crisp, clear kind of crispness that you'd expect from a Pilsner, but it doesn't have, or lager I should say, but it doesn't have that kind of uh, lager yeastiness to it. It does share a striking similarity sometimes to like Kolsch's, to where I get this kind of little fruited melon kind of thing. I'm getting that in here. But there always tends to be a little bit more of a kind of heftier kind of Pilsner maltiness to it. Something a little bit elevated beyond just your classic kind of Pilsner malt. Crisp, clean, it smells every bit of a Kolsch slash lager without the lager yeast. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah. What do you want? There's nothing bitter in this, this too. I did not expect that. Um, they said this crushable cream, cream ale comes sweetness and a crisp Czech hop. So it's almost doing like a taste like it too, like a Czech pills version of a cream ale. And uh, yeah. Fermented with ale and lager yeast. Okay. They're doing like a mixture thing here. They're doing like the blend of two. It's a refreshing uh, go-to choice to get you through the back nine. I did not know that. I don't think I'd pull out a lager kind of thing off of this. Yeah, it's really malt driven, especially in the nose. I have that sweet malty graininess, but once you dive into it, well, that maltiness still is kind of leader in a clubhouse. You do get a... A decent for its ABV and its size. You're talking about 4.3% cream ale. There is a nice little bit of bittering to it. Kind of lets you know, uh, hey, I'm here. I'm not just a basic beer. I got a little bit going on. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I like it. I take Listen. You know how, like, you just like some things and you're kind of hard to be unbiased towards it? That's me with cream ales. Cream ales are one of my favorite styles in the history of mankind. I will always love cream ales if they're made really well, and this one is. So it's kind of like, no shit, Sherlock, am I going to like this? Yes, you can see it from the get. Before I even opened the can, I was giddy with what I was about to drink, and it ended up proving. Now, is that, okay, you like it, so you're going to think it's really, really tasty? Or, this is the side I typically kind of lean into, do you judge these beers a little bit harsher? Are you a little bit more picky about these beers because you like them so much? And I think that's where I kind of fall when it comes to beers that I really, really dig. Um, it shows a lot with the um, Belgian Quans I'm very tough on. And specific beers, I just like to be done in a specific way. That's why it's massive beer reviews and not some kind of BJCP nerdy kind of rated 93 garbage kind of thing going on. And um, yeah. I just think it's tasty. I think it's well made. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing overtly negative about it. I like that little twist, that little pop of that little bit of bitterness. And you get that combination of the coal, or the ale and uh, lager yeast, which I don't think I would have picked up on if I didn't read it. But it, it lends itself to a little bit more kind of crispiness. Yeah. Good beer. What can I say? I dig it. Uh, so let's talk about it. Is it one of the better cream ales I've had? It was like, yeah, actually, it's up there. Probably Mount Rushmore status. Let's put it that way. Yes. Side by side with Jenny, Jenny Cream Ale. King should have fucked me out when it comes to cream ales. Uh, value and availability. No idea. Oak Ridge, let me know it's what or anybody else down there in, uh, what these guys, North Carolina, I believe? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, Southern Pines, North Carolina. Who would have thunk it? It'll leave you with, if you like what we like this beer, if you like cream ales. So there you go. Another review in the books. Thank you very much again, Oak Ridge, for dropping us off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our review down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out in the social media stuff. Beer Massive. Want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing, and hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of cream ale right now, and hope to see you next time. Cheers.